Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 107.9. I am the most energetic entertainer, Manny Supreme. He was a very talented artist. I'm telling you, she sings better than Whitney Houston and Mary J. Blige combined. I'm standing on that. LaBianca is in the building. Yeah. How are you? I'm chilling, man. I'm I chilling. like I like the are these crystals? My gems. The gems. Yes, thank you. We really appreciate you coming through and sitting down and talking to us, man. I know it's been a long day, but we got to talk about your musical journey first off. For all of your newer fans that are that are watching or who may be getting put on to you, where are you from? And when when did you start and decide like, okay, music is for me? Uh, for starters, I'm from Cameroon. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm a Bamenda girl, also known as Abakwa Babes. So. Um, and music has always been a part of my life. Like, I was surrounded by it. And my babysitter, she's the one who, like, ignited the passion for music, mm -hmm. or singing, at least, in me. Um, and as years went by, I just, singing turned into songwriting, into recording, into um, engineering myself, into this, into that, and yeah, That's fire. Yeah. So you engineered yourself, too? Yes. Um, do you still do that, or when 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 did you stop doing it? Um, it it depends. Like fifty percent of the time, I'll just engineer myself, and mm -hmm. the other fifty percent, my manager engineers me. Mm -hmm. How how often are you in the studio, and then like, what's your creative process when you write songs? Um, I be in the studio like most most of the time. Cause there's always there's always something to get done or like some some kind of idea to get mm -hmm. down. Um, and what was the other question? Like, what's your creative process? Creative process, creative process is sporadic. It depends mm -hmm. on um, it depends on the mood. So mm -hmm. sometimes my melodies will come first before the lyrics. Sometimes the lyrics and the rhythm will come before the melody. And sometimes it's just I will just have a whole song in my head. And um, it'll be, we, we'll get created around it. How often do you use things that you go through in your personal life and your music? Um, all the time. <laughs> do you find like time. that's like a sweet spot for you to really be able to hone in on? Yeah, like, I mean, for me, if I'm creating, I gotta create from the heart. Mm -hmm. So if, if it may not be going on in my personal life, it's probably going on in someone's life. Right. Around me, exactly. You know, like some that I connect with. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it's very much important for me to do that because uh, the best way that you can tell what people need is by looking at what you need. Because mm. we're all human beings. Exactly. Man. That yeah. was deep. Yeah, it was yeah. <laughs> so, growing up in Cameroon, mm -hmm. what were some musical artists that you grew up listening to? Um, so, there were some Cameroonian artists. Mm -hmm. Ben Deca, Grace Deca. Shalodi Panda. Mm -hmm. I also listened to Peace Square. Peace Square was like, <laughs> they were everything mm -hmm. back in the day. Um, I listened to Keisha Cole. Really? I was just about to ask, so is American music over there as big as some people think it is, or do you guys typically listen for listen to artists that's from you guys' area? Oh, uh, we listen to both. Like, it really, it really just depends on the individual, to be mm -hmm. honest, because, um, Everywhere else, when I would like walk the streets, or um, when it was like uh, dinner time in my grandma's house, mm -hmm. or whatever I was, I would be listening to like the Cameroonian music and the Nigerian music. Mm -hmm. But when I was in my house with my older cousin, he used to just he he, he used to bump R and B like all the time. Whenever mm -hmm. I used to hang with him, so like I got kind of like the best of both worlds in a way. Top three R and B artists. Now you said Keisha Cole. Is she is she up there with you? If we're talking to my inner child right now, <laughs> Keisha Cole, Carrie Hilson. Ooh, that's a good um, one. People sleep on Carrie. You know what I mean? And um, let me got them got the Brandy. <sighs> yeah. People leave them out a lot. You know what I mean? Like, come like, on. Come on. They, I have to say, sometimes I, I've, I've left out Carrie Hilson, <laughs> Hilson and Brandy. Those are those are two great options. So, who are some newer artists that you like? You know, that you got downloaded in your Spotify, your Apple Music that you wake up to. Hmm. Are you a playlist type of person? Uh, yeah, I have like different playlists for different moods. For different moods. What's your favorite playlist? Hmm, my favorite. Oh, damn, what's it called? I think it's just like chilling vibe. Mm, yeah. I was about to say mine is called I think it's a... Calm Down. That's yeah. just a simple CD. Calm That's my favorite. Yeah. 
Got little, I got some Keisha Cole in there too. Just you know, yeah, you, just like, just you can sick. listen to it all parts of the day in the morning, afternoon. Exactly. Take a nap. You wake up, right? Exactly. Can we talk about your style? I mean, like, so you said the gems, yeah. the earrings, the mm-hmm. necklace, the hair. Yeah. How big and important is your style when it comes to your artistry? If I don't look like myself, I don't feel like myself. If I don't feel like myself, I don't perform like myself. If I, I don't perform like myself, I'm doing a disservice to myself. So you see how that just yeah. quickly got to that? Yeah. <laughs> I need to feel like myself. Mm-hmm. And down to my jewelry, um, even how I sit, like mm-hmm. my clothes, the hair, everything really, really matters. How big and important is it in today's society? I feel like... People get so caught up on social media looking at like, oh, I got to be like that and be like that. How has your individuality helped you with your career thus far? Um, individuality, that really matters. Like it's, it should not be underestimated because if you are, if you're living for other people, you might as well be dead, mm. you know? So to just keep it nice and sweet, when you know who you are or, or at least learn you know, when you get to know yourself mm-hmm. and you can stand two feet down and be like, I'm going to live for myself. I'm going to do what the hell I want to do. Mm-hmm. And if you don't want to or, you know, you don't fuck with it, that's your business. Mm-hmm. Like, that's cool. That's fine. So, you know, just loving yourself enough to just um, not abandon yourself and do what you want when you want, how you want it. Yeah. Um, that brings a certain kind of, like, peace. It brings inner peace and happiness. And... Um, that's what I chase after every day. Mm-hmm. So it's it's very very important for that to shine through because when there's like <sighs> what makes you unique mm-hmm. is what makes you stand out. So um, what did Kanye say? Everything I'm not made me everything, everything I, I am. am. Exactly. So yeah, just that always stays in the back of my head. That's fire. Mm-hmm. Take us to a typical studio session with you. Um. First of all, I'm mostly naked because <laughs> I'm by myself in the studio. Yeah. Ain't nobody sitting in there with me. You vibe. Um, yeah. Uh, my manager slash best friend, he'll, be, he'll sometimes be chilling in the living room, right? Um, other times when he's engineering me, you know, clothes on, he's there. But um, otherwise, yeah. I'll, put, I'll take myself in there. I'll have my rapper. I take it off. I sit comfortably. I mm-hmm. lay it on my chair. Um, and I just like... I just vibe. Mm. I don't know how else to say it. Like, I'll have my book with me. I usually have my notebook and my pen and my phone. Mm. So I have the voice memos recording the melodies, recording melodies, recording melodies. Sometimes I'll just go straight into the DAW and just record melodies, record m- melodies. And, like, when I hear, like, when I hear it go away, it's like, mm. oh, that is like, that's sweet. that's it. That's yeah. it right there. Then we yeah. start getting lyrics done mm. and, you know, we arrange and then we do our harmonies and then we do our stacks, dubs, mm. and then we're like, all right, this is a sweet demo. We'll yeah. come back later. That's fire. <laughs> yeah. What are two things on your artist bucket list this year? Hmm. For one, I want to, I want to crowd surf. Um, That'll be fire. But I'm too, I'm too chicken for that. You gotta just do. I've done, I've done it once. I almost Bro. fell. But it's like these, when you up in the air, mid air, it's just like, all right, somebody gotta catch me. If not, God gotta catch me. I'm telling you, these titties and ass is too big. <laughs> I might not make it. I might just go all the way down. You got to try it at least once. Well, I'll think about it. Um, But the other goal is to, honestly, as an artist, to just keep beating myself. Mm -hmm. I'm only in competition with myself. So, like, if by the end of the year I look and the music that I have created during that time compared to what I've been creating right now, Mm -hmm. if it's the same and I don't hear growth or in like my performance videos, Mm -hmm. I don't see growth, Mm -hmm. something's wrong. (laughs) I I need to, yeah, just keep progress. Practice makes progress. Elevating, man. I truly appreciate you sitting down. You about to make me go either go shop or find me some more like little (laughs) custom things for my wardrobe, okay? (laughs) We wish you the best. We truly appreciate you sitting down with us. Another edition, another episode with me, Manny Supreme, right here on Hot 107 now.